Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome back to Dawn of Man. So I've skipped forward for a, a little bit of this because I'm trying to catch up to the uh, previous uh, series with the amount of stuff I've built. So there's a few changes in the village. So um, we've uh, placed a few of these um, skull poles around the village because I'm trying to get more social things put down. I'm trying to impre increase the sort of... Um, there's the, if you look at the information for these, these actually give you a prestige and morale recovery. So we've got a few of them placed around the town. And the idea is that I'm trying to get more prestige for the town. So we've also got our first men here now as well, which gives me a massive whopping five prestige. And we're going to build more things like that. We are now up to 31 out of a population of 40. So that is improving. Uh, we do need to get a lot more... Um, food though we're not really got a huge amount of so we've got grain um how much straw have we got 38 straw it's not too bad we've had our first raider attack as well which we managed to uh survive which was good oh ah we were attacking a woolly rhino i think yes we've actually beaten it yeah i was attacking this just because i'd never actually hunted one before and i thought it would be pretty fun to grab it so we've Grabbed it. Um, wait a minute, was that a wolf? It's a cave lion. Eating my nom noms. So, um, the next thing I'm trying to get is I need to get sheep. And I'm, I'm really struggling to get uh, enough sheep. There's like literally no sheep are spawning near me. And if they do spawn near me, there's no actual uh, youngsters. So... That's a problem. We are also... Ooh. Run out of a sled. One of my sledges is broken. Yeah, we're also trying to get... Um, let me just build that. Yeah, we're also trying to get uh, more uh, leather clothes built because it's going to take me a while to get sheep. And then I've not researched flax yet, so I think next I'm probably going to go for... Um, I'm probably going to go for pulses next, get that done. Uh, don't really need fortifications just yet. I mean, we could go for stilting, I guess, make bridges. Um, I'd like to get the weaver done, but in order to get weaving, we need to get that, that, and that. So that is like uh, 21 points. So it's going to be a while before we get all them. So we have tagged a load of um, stones. So we should start seeing the uh, stones popping up. Megaliths, you can see here, I've got four of them. And once we've done that, we are going to uh, start bringing these into the town. In fact, I'll show you what I've been doing with these. So, so the stones, you can spot them best in this mode. So you need to literally just fly around and go, oh, is that one? Nope, that's not one. So I've tagged a few. Is that one? That's not been mined yet. Sometimes it's it's quite hard because it's winter. Probably winter is not the best time for me to demonstrate my skills. Okay, there's one here. They are a lighter colour. So, what I need to do is, it's probably easy if you zoom right out like up in the mountains. So you can see, look, if you can just about make that one over there. Um, Just trying to pan the camera around so you can see. It's easy if you go way up high. So you can just like scout it round and go, all right, where are you all? There's something, no, nope, not there. So I've got four of these. Now we've got one in the village. Um, I think I've just tagged two. Is that one? No, it's Flint. No, we're going to wait till, well, we're going to wait till end of winter. Because I literally can't see at the moment. Okay. Uh, not got an awful amount of Flint at the moment. So I think we should treat ourselves to... A little bit more flint collecting. Um, where have we got some flint? There's some over there. Let's do a little flint work area there. We've survived the winter. Hurrah! Let's wait for this to uh, die down a little bit. Okay, that haystack's getting nicely full now as well, which is good. And... Summertime's going to be coming soon, so we're going to get all this planted. Yeah. 
And I want to do uh, a new social thing. So we're going to do a new... I think I'm going to go for this one next. Dolmen. We've also got a big one as well, which is six. So I'm, I'm just getting a few of these. We're just going to make this village look pretty, pretty darn good. Um, I'm going to stick that in the middle of the forest. It's going to be a nice peaceful place for us to go and uh, worship the gods. Okay, so we've got, got all this to plant first. This is one of my first tasks to do. Pretty important thing to do. Extra bit of knowledge there for collecting a, a huge amount of sticks. Nice. These are nearly all done now. There's one left. Now, my animals hasn't gone up. I've not been training anything else. Well, captured anything else. I've only got goats at the moment. I do want sheep. So we are going to keep an eye out for sheep and try and get them. Okay. Last bit getting done there. Okay, let's go back into this mode. Now... I'm going to grab all of them. I'm going to go up river. And hope and pray we see some sheep. Um, Deer. Oh, no. It is not deer we want. We are looking for... I think they're called Mufalon. Is that? No, that's young horses. Now this is what we want, these things. So these are the... They're a variation of like sheep. But... I need babies. See, there's an old one there. Literally can't find the babies anywhere. We can't capture the pigs yet because we've not advanced enough to do that. And oh 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 where what are the oh look at these they're so far away but I do need to get some so we're gonna capture all of these young female right so if we can get the two males and a female we might be able to start breeding from that and actually there's me saying this is so far away look look look, look where this is wait a minute now where have you got that I think it's because we hunted the rhino up here. I don't think it's because I've got a hunting zone up here. That is so far away. That is ridiculous. Look at it. Wow. Okay. Well, hopefully we're going to get a... Uh... Why did you die of dehydration? We are collecting water, you know. Well, we should be collecting water. Look. All right, we've got one person doing the water collecting. Let's bump that up to two. Maybe that's not enough having one person do it. Right, all my... Well, the majority of these are all upgraded now. Um, have we got enough mud to do this? Right, let's upgrade that storage tent. And... That one. And... That one. Oh, and that one. That should keep us busy. And uh, we've got 55 food at the moment, so that's more than enough. We've got um, 24 bread. Ooh, died of old age. Not what I want to be reading. Right, hopefully we're going to be... Oh, look at this, another one's died. Humans have died of old age times two. The one thing we're not going to do in this series, we're not going to rush and progress to like the Copper Age before we've got enough people because that is where we went wrong last time. I'm just going to keep replacing these sledges every time we run out of one as well. And hopefully that'll be enough. I'm going to keep on a scouting round looking for meat as well. Um, we've got some people bringing the stone back there. There's another one getting brought back there. Oh, we were looking for the other stones, weren't we? So, let's try and have a look around and see where I've tagged them all. So, there's one there. There's one there. Did we have any over here? I don't think we did. Ooh, hang on. Mouflon. There's Mouflon over here. He's... Oh, 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 oh jackpot. Jackpot. We've got three over there. I'm having all of them. Um, still not seeing a huge amount of wolves. 
And I think I might tag all of you. Oh, here we go. Here's the stones. I knew I'd tagged a load of these. Right. Back to the village. On you go. You've all got lots of work to do. Okay, how's the mud levels on here? Pretty good. Trade has arrived. And we've got four people joined us. Good. Okay. Uh, what have you got? Hmm... I, might, I could start selling some of these. Uh, have we got any slings to sell? Surprisingly, no. Um, I don't think I really want to sell anything. Let's sell a bit of bread because we've got quite a lot of that. Wait a minute. Go back to that again. She did that completely wrong. So we've got 22 value there. And... Ooh. Should we get a sheep now? 75 no we've tagged we've tagged a load i'm i'm not doing that let's get um some flint picks off you leather outfit and you can keep the change okay we're gonna keep an eye on this as well animals hopefully we're gonna see that go up soon for the sheep and we're gonna try and get all these buildings built as well okay that's hopefully getting uh, upgraded. Hopefully you can get all this built before winter comes. We might need... Let's put let's slow this down a second. We might need uh, more logs. So we are going to tag a load of uh, logs. So yeah, let's get the spruce cut down. Uh, leave the oaks, pines, yeah, they're good. Ooh, free food there. Go and grab that. I've got a sheep now, just noticed there. We've got our first sheep. Died of starvation. Interesting. How on earth you die of starvation when there's all this food? I don't know. Weird. Was you there? Old man. Maybe he was just too old and tired to get to the actual where the food was. Water levels have gone up now. Now I've put two on now, which is good. And we've got some uh, got some making of the uh, woolen cloths and also the funky uh, leather outfits as well. We've got enough for that now. Nice. We've got ten. Um, animals now. Now that doesn't mean we've got 10 sheep or 10 goats. It means we've got 10 including our doggos. So if we go to the overview, so you can see here we've got 11 animals. So we've got 6 dogs, 2 goats and 3 sheep. So let's look at the unlockables. So as we've got sheep, we can now get weaving unlocked and then we can do a production. And we need two things. We need to do a weaver and an outfitter. So the animals are going to be over here. So ideally, I don't want to build too much over here because we want to seal it off a little bit. So I think what I might do is I think we're going to put the weaver over here. And then we're going to do production. And we're going to do the outfit over here as well. And yoink! Hopefully that is going to be spaced out nicely. And we're going to build. What should we build? Well, we've not got any wool or anything at the moment, so we don't need to worry about that. I'm thinking I might need to uh, invest in uh, pulses though and get some uh, alternative uh, food sources because we've not got a huge amount of alternative food sources at the moment. Another sledge is broken. Wow, we are going for these like nobody's business. Okay. That's tagged. Now, how's my um, little te village temple in the forest going? It's not at the moment. I can't even see what's being built. It is in there somewhere. I'm going to have to thin the trees out a little bit and deal with that in a second. Reindeer has escaped. Not good. What? Another one died of starvation. Now, this is weird. We've got 50 cured meat. 
So why are we all of a sudden dying of starvation? Let me just check out my stores. So we've got the granary there. We should be able to, uh, can we get the food out of that? Right. I've just emptied all the food out of it. Now, hopefully, hoping someone's going to start bringing that food back in. I'm wondering if this food's bugged a little bit because we don't seem to be uh, making enough food at the moment. What can I do to try and uh, fix this then, apart from go on a mass... Oh, look at this. This this takes the mickey, this. I literally... I didn't have enough uh, mouflon before, and now look. There's just, like, loads of them. We need uh, the adults, though. Let's get these all hunted. Uh, what are these donkeys? Right, hopefully people are going to go and do a little bit of hunting then. Yeah, we seem to be dying of food. Dying of starvation. I don't understand why. We should have enough uh, meals from the hunting and stuff. Right. Hopefully you're going to do a little bit of hunting here. Come on. Workload is too high. Okay. Nice. Right. Did you actually get any meat? Are you carrying any meat? Yeah, you are. Just a bit worried that we're not going to have enough um, food. See, look, they're all dying. Oh, this is really, really frustrating. Why, why are they all dying of starvation? Oh, we've got an old goat there as well. I think that's been scheduled for... Oh, it's actually been scheduled for um, milking. Right, so we've got our meat being cured on here. I mean, we have got... Um, maybe because we're not... I don't, I, I don't understand it. We, <laughs> we should have enough uh, stuff to... Uh, be dealing with all of this, but yeah, sadly we're not. Let's tag all these. I think the fires are out of wood, so we can't. Maybe we can't make any uh, meals at the moment because that needs uh, branches. Well, logs. Another sled is unusable. Okay, let's speed this up then. I want someone to come and chop one of these trees down. Okay, trader has arrived. Okay, let's try and trade with him. Um, let's try and buy some uh, standard bread off you. And sell you... What else can I give you? Dry fishy. Um, sling. Yes, keep the change again. Right, production time is almost here. The fields are uh, going to be getting harvested. I might, as an emergency thing, start doing some more uh, bread production. So let's get another uh, more to put down. Should be good there. We are on quite a high workload at the moment, though. Now, I did, I did empty a lot of the food out of there, but I was hoping they'd actually come and pick this stuff up off the floor. Literally, and they literally just leave, leaving all this stuff on the floor. Am I gonna have to manually do this? So you you are actually eating off the floor though. Are you gonna haul it back in here, or should I build another granary? I mean, we've only got the one granary at the moment, but uh, let's do another granary. I don't know if that one's bugged, if I've got, if it's being stuck by the wooden things, or I really don't know. Anyway, let's do another one over here. There. 
that shouldn't be locked. You should be able to get into that. Okay. I mean, they seem to be getting the food off the floor, but the trouble is all the food's on the floor now, and that's going to... Uh, that's going to end up uh, all going rotten, so it shouldn't be on the floor. Okay. Doing a little bit more cooking on here now. Make me some loaves. Um, I'm going to quickly just go through here, click on all this and ban everything. Because I want to then go through it all and allow it all because... No one seems to be picking the stuff up off the floor. Don't have a clue why, but they are. Look at all this stuff that's on the floor. Loads of dry fish, which is all slowly going rotten. Right, child. One. Carry. Now, are you... Ooh, are you picking this... I think you might be picking this stuff up, you know. They seem to be picking this stuff up. I think this child is picking it all up. Well, I hope so. Look at look at the meat there. So we've got what have we got there? A stack of like eleven, right? So if I click this and say pick that up, right? You're storing that. I'll pick up this meat. There you go. Okay. So this th these piles are slowly going down. So what have we got there? We've got like uh, eight things of dried fish. So if I click that. There you go. Shouldn't have to do it like this, but... As long as it keeps working like this, I'm quite happy to keep doing it. Okay, where are you taking that? You're actually cooking it. Okay. Okay, I think we've uh, worked that child too much. <laughs> Need to go and get someone else. There we go. There's another one down here. Um, going to get raw meat <laughs> and hanging it up. Good. Gonna uh, carry the rest of the stuff then. There you go. Come on. A little bit of meat there to. Uh, well, that is a bit, a bit of cured meat. A little bit of dried fish. Another little bit of dried fish. I think there's actually an outfit there on the floor. Is that a bow as well? Yeah, there's a bow. What? I think that is all the stuff moved now. But no, it's not. There's still, <laughs> there's still more. Right, you. Take up the meat. There we go. Woo! Right, so what is stopping my life at the moment then? Right, we need uh, logs. We are currently not got enough people chopping logs down. How many uh, axes have we got? Right, we've got 15. So we're going to have to be a little bit savage and uh, get some of these trees chopped down. So let's do a workspace area. Let's do tree felling in that area. And I want 30 logs, and I want three people on it. Make it so. Okay, we're finally getting that built. That was our storage hut. Yeah, the storage huts have been a complete fa failure. No one is building them at all. We're actually probably short of mud. Oh no, logs. Still short of logs. Okay, if these all want to wear... Uh hurry up and get all this stuff moved that's what we need delicious logs we need lots of them as well I can see logs getting moved there so there is logs in them the hills but it's just taking a while to uh, get them all uh, harvested ok 
Okay, we're another person down. I, I did actually think we were gonna get a huge amount of people in this video. That is not the case so far. But upgrading these in the middle of winter is not the best time to be doing all of this. In fact, it's like the worst time. Especially when there's a storm coming. Okay, two new people have joined me. Good. Storage hut's getting finished. Nice. Right, so we've got the, the weaving stuff. This all needs finishing. The storage huts need finishing. Which they should be soon, I think. Come on. I've actually got eight sheep now as well, which is good. Which means we're at the maximum. Nice. We've actually got five uh, storage huts now, so we're up to 11 for that. Let's see. Clothing and the outfits are getting built now as well. Perfect. Just need this to get built then. And we should then be actually caught up. Run out of mud again. So that's going to take a while to do. Excellent. We've survived the winter though at least. And we are getting wood. We've got 12 uh, logs. And we built our first weaver. Excellent. Outfit is going up as well. Hopefully we're going to start collecting uh, wool. <laughs> Outfit is now finished. Right, so what are we building over here? Oh yeah, we're doing another granary. Yeah, we do need another one of those. Try and get that finished. And uh, yeah, hauling would be good. Still got last uh, season's crops to get hauled. And it's literally not been hauled yet. Now I've got 58 meat. Um, ooh, tempting. He's got woolen cloth. I don't particularly want to sell a lot of it. Um, see, the thing is I like selling. I like selling things like the leather outfits and stuff because we get like a good uh, return. We can just go and kill a load of new animals. But he's not really got a huge amount of things I want. He's got sickles and he's got he's got the woolen cloth, but I don't think I really want to trade with him at the moment. I'm one, I am wondering if I should get myself a, a well. It's only seven, and if we get the well, hopefully what we can do is if we do production now to a well and bung this in the village somewhere, like for instance there. Then we can get rid of that one and people can start collecting water. So let's prioritize building that and hopefully uh, get some water. Right, workload is still too high as always. New human was born. Nice. So we've got another little granary over here now. And it looks like we're going to be getting wool any second as well. Let's get our well finished. Nice. And hopefully we're going to have enough uh, well from the village to, uh, yeah, to keep us all happy. Okay. So the, as the well's central, I'm hoping people are going to, uh, you know, Go and grab it sooner and yeah it's gonna be easier than actually uh, going to the water's edge to get the water hopefully my last goat has died not really a <laughs> good sign is it right hopefully the uh, sheep peas are gonna start getting shaven because we need to start making uh, woolen outfits and in fact, not just woolen, we need to get uh, flax as well. So let's get us a little pulse field planted, I think. Not too big. Let's just do, say, six for that. And you know what? I might do one of each. A few little, a few little things of barley over there as well. 
Okay. These are all busy, busy, busy. Okay. Just need people to uh, hurry up and start harvesting these now. My little sheepies. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no way of um, boosting priority for harvesting, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, maybe I should put that on high priority and see if that does work. Or for the weaver. We'll put the weaver and that's high priority. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe maybe we need more knives. I mean we have got um how many harpoons have we got? We've got like 18. That is a ridiculous amount. Not really using the bones for anything else at the moment. Um I mean we are making the normal flint knives. We've got uh, one of those. We've got 25 knives. Oh, we have got a fair, a fair old amount of knives. Should be okay with that. Just curious where my um, little... This here. This is not really getting... I still need another uh, single rock. But the rocks don't seem to be really getting moved at the moment. Let's do... Let me get let me get a little bit more flint. I'm gonna grab that. Put two people on that. Now, where are my stones? Because I definitely tagged a few of these stones to get moved. So where are they? Well, here we go. Now, interestingly enough, they are getting moved, but yeah. One person on each one is going to take a while. <laughs> this poor person is just pinging it right on the on its own. Look, come on! Can you not help? Okay, we've got a few people like that coming to help now. We tagged that as well. We can do that eventually. All right, we've got two people moving it now. Can you not help out? I think the more people, the better. Oh, now you've just all gone on your separate ways. Okay, let's return back to, to town anyway. I think we need to uh, get a flint mine as well. We're not, we're not using a huge amount of flint at the moment, but it would be kind of nice to have a little mine over there to go and get some more. Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. Um, how has that happened? How have you just run into the town and just attacked everyone like that? Okay, bear. Have some of that. Wow, that was a really angry bear. Just decided to randomly uh, run in and uh, attack everyone. Right. Um, I think if you're doing that, it's only fair that I do this then. Let us get the meat. Bison. Bison squad. Roll out. Ooh, nice. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it down. Nice. Now there's another one up here as well. We're having that one. Now I don't think we can hunt it in the water, can we? This one though. Does it take damage in the water? Oh, it does. What happens if it dies when it's in the water then, I wonder? It should be dead. There you go. Now, where did the other one go? Um, we probably don't really need the meat, though, so let's just leave that for now. Let's just skin what we've got. And leave them to it. Because I want these stones to get in the village. And they're going to take... If I keep tagging loads of hunting and things like that, 
we're going to be busy doing all the stuff and not have time to do any of it. Now, the extra water increase is working well because we've got more water in the town now. So we are producing wool. Look, we've made six woolen outfits and one linen outfit. Now, linen is flax and flax is life. No, it's not. Um, we need to do a flax field. And this is just going to be for... It's going to be for you for doing uh, outfits. So when's planting season for that? Um, I don't actually know when planting season is. Um, spring apparently. So yeah, we've we've missed that. Oops. Let's get rid of all these. Uh, trader. Shall I sell you some stuff? Here you can have my fish, have my meats. And I would like to purchase off you um, flour, a bow, um, and some. Oh no, it's, it's a one-to-one -one now. That's it. Trade complete. Okay, so we are busy down here now. We are, we have actually got a few things on going. We've got a little stock of wool. We've got some wool and cloth. So we are making uh, outfits. Nice. And these are going to be really good. These woolen outfits are going to be good for uh, selling. Simply because they are worth a silly amount of money at the start. And yeah, it's going to help us out loads. Right. I'd like some more mouflon. So I'm going to have a little look and see if I can see any more. Um, no, I think they're little horses. Yes, little horses. Any, any mouflon lurking near here? What are these? Ooh, now this is interesting. This is, this is the first time I've actually caught this on a video. Now, look at here. These are actual raiders who are coming to raid me. So, what I'm interested in doing is interrupting the raid. So, I know there's like four of them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna form a party oh where have they gone this is the thing it's really hard to spot them i only spotted that as i was coming across the map right i'm gonna unpause time and we're gonna come and we're gonna try and uh we're gonna try and uh attack them so if we just click on that let's keep this going We'll form up here on the mountains. Now, where have they gone? Yeah, they are coming still. Okay. We're going to form up here. Okay, here they come. Right, we've got the higher ground. And we are just going to attack them. So, attack them in the faces. Actually, we're going to stay up the higher ground. There we go. I like the fact that we've all got <laughs> baskets of food and stuff. It's almost like we're going to uh, offer them a deal. Right, we're going for it. There we go. Raider attack. Oh, you got one of mine. Killed by a raider. Scoundrels. Right, there's one left. Back to business. So that's the first time I've actually spotted them in the middle of um, a video. So that's pretty cool. So that is one way. You don't have to wait for them to attack you. If you do, like, run around and see them coming, then you can do that, like I've just done. Which is pretty darn cool. Now, I think we've pretty much upgraded the whole village now to Thatch Town. So we're okay on that. We need... One more stone now. That stone is taking a long time to get hauled. Um, I might check the progress on it in a second. I mean, as we actually do a lot of these tasks, though, so say for instance the mud, um, once we've got rid of, once we've collected enough mud, then that's going to free people to do other tasks. So they're all busy at the moment harvesting. Once that's done, maybe we might get a little bit more hauling done and getting the wool as well. 
I mean, it looks like my actual uh, person that's making the outfits has actually just gotten sick. He's got a disease. Now, how are we doing for um, straw and stuff? Um, I think we're okay. We're making quite a regular supply of uh, bread now, which is good. But I would like the stones to get moved as a bigger priority. So, as we can see, this is get it is getting moved, but literally one person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag three people. I'm going to come back over here, click on that, and get them to assist. Let's try and get this uh, thing moved. Come on. There's actually two on it already. Okay. We've got... What have we got on it now? We've got four on it. Let's get this back to town. As always, there's loads and loads of stuff to haul. All of this needs hauling still. See, there's a few of them are... They are there's a few of them are... They are helping with this, but... There we go. We, we, we are going to move this stone if I have to get the whole village to come out. How, how, what's the maximum amount you can actually have hauling, I wonder? Ooh, nice. We've got extra sheep, which is good and bad. It's good because we've got extra sheep. It's bad because I've not got the actual capacity for extra sheep. So we're going to have to do another animal house. Well, a stable, I should call it. Um, it's getting a bit tight around here, though. Uh, put it there. There you go. Complaining about the, st the storage space. Okay, are you building... Are you making me uh, outfit still? Yes, we're up to 16 at the moment. And that's going to get built. We need mud. We need... Uh, what do we need there? Straw still? I think, I think we've got all that stuff, though. Okay, a little bit of hunting going on there. Now, we've got 15 fish, we've got uh, 21 bread, so we're okay for food at the moment. But I would like this stone to get moved still. It is it is slowly coming. In fact, where is it? Oh, there you go. It's over the hill now. It's coming. It's a coming. We've got all our uh, pulses to plant now because it is winter. But it's coming up to fall where all this stuff needs to be planted. So we need to get all this uh, trying to put down now. Hopefully get this moved. Come on. Our stables need finishing as well, which is currently nearly done now, which is excellent. Okay, we'll speed this up. Ooh, that, light, that lightning's too close. Okay, there's another couple of spot, spots left to do. Another couple there, that should be it. That's nearly in position as well. Perfect. This is all coming to a nice conclusion for the end of the video. Come on. Free the people. So we've got space for 20, pe 20 animals now. Which is good. That is getting put into place as well. Oh, yeah. It's like a well-oiled machine. Trade has arrived. Um, now, the trader, if, he's, if the trader starts having technology and stuff, I am tempted to get some of the stuff because if you look at this now, I can start selling uh, woolen outfits, which are worth five. Ah, oh, I wonder if they've changed the value of those. They used to be worth a lot more. So, for instance, why is a wool... That makes no sense. Why is a higher tier unit only worth five, but yet the skin outfit is worth ten? So, I'd have to sell the skins, I guess. But there's nothing I really want off you at the moment. So, be gone. I don't want to trade with you. I mean, we can go for next. I guess I could go for piggies. 
Or we could go for a mine. That's what we're going to go for. And we're going to go for a mine because we are using a lot of flint up. And if we go to production, flint mine, bung, there you go. We've just run out of uh, flint, which is perfect because it means we can set that on high priority. We can stick that on speed up. We can just sit back for a second, let them all do the quick little tasks. There we go. And we have built our first dolmen. Here we go. So look at this. So we are getting... Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's pretend we can't see. Where, where, where where are you going? Yeah, let's pretend we can't see that. But yeah, we got our first little thing. Nice. So hopefully that's going to cheer up the mood of everyone immensely. And I think next up, we're going to have to start doing our defense. So, yeah, we're going to work on that next. And also on a few more buildings. In fact, before I forget, for the end of this video, we are going to do another hut. Um, I'm going to start expanding. Now, the, the thing with the fields is I'm still on the fence about whether I should have my fields outside my base or inside. Um... We've just planted all of these, so I don't particularly want to um, get rid of them just yet. So let's just stick random hut there and go. And that is it for now. So this is Dawn of Man. I'm Shirley Rocks. We are surviving. Thank you for watching. See you next time.